What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustinMartech.com and this is another tutorial in Java programming. Now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to create methods. So let's get started. Now what is a method first? A method is a set of instructions that you can uh, invoke or call later on. Now it, it's pretty easy to do. Now the first thing we're going to need to do before we get started, I'm going to create a new class. And in this new class I'm going to show you how to create a method and uh, we're going to invoke this method from this blue class. But to create a new class, first thing we got to do is click on file up here, go to new and click on class. I'm sorry if it's noisy, it's raining outside my window right now, it's pretty loud, it's raining pretty hard here in New York. But again, uh, we're going to give our new class a name, I'm going to call my class red and hit finish. So now we have a new class which we call red and we have this cl blue class here. So in, in the red class is where we're going to create our uh, method, right? So under here, right, let's create our method. So first we have to type in public and then we're going to type in void. Then we're going to type in uh, uh, our method name. What, what do we want to call our method name? I want to call my method FAV capital C O L O R short for favorite color so uh, and then we have to hit space here open a close parentheses right then we're gonna end this with a open curly brace here right so now we're gonna hit enter now it's gonna automatically give us a closing curly if it doesn't automatically give you closing curly brace you have to do it so the good good practice is to count your open curly brace and make sure you have the, the corresponding closing curly braces so Inside this open and close parentheses here, we're going to type a few things in here. So we're going to type in capital S T R I N G because we're going to type in a string, and then we're going to give our, our variable a name. I'm going to call my variable color. So cap, I'm sorry, lowercase C O L O R. And here, uh, this is a argument, right? Anything inside these parameters are called arguments, and this is the type of data that we're going to be using to pull with our method. And we're going to be using string data. And then we declared a variable which we called color, and then we're going to be using color later on. So now in, let's hit enter a few times here. So the next thing we're going to need to do, we want our method to do things. I want my method to print something out. And I want it to uh, print out something on the screen. So we're going to type in capital S Y S T E M dot out dot print L N for print line, right? So we're going to use this open and close parentheses and end it with a semicolon because it is a statement. Now inside this open and close parentheses, I wanted to print out a couple of things. I wanted to print out your, before we type in this message, we need to add a set of double quotes, right? Inside this set of double quotes, we're going to type in our message. So we're going to say your favorite, right? Color is then we're going to hit a space right so it's going to say your favorite color is after this last closing uh double quote here right we're going to hit space and we're going to type in this plus symbol and then we're going to hit space so that after this uh plus symbol we're going to type in our variable name which is color so what this method is going to do is going to print out uh, every time we invoke this method it's going to print out this message first then it's going to print out the value of color, whatever value color has next to it. Right, so that's pretty much it for this method here. Again, it's pretty simple. We, uh, we, we created a method. We, we typed in public void. We called our method fave color, right? And uh, we gave our, our method some arguments. We, we, told, we told our method that we're going to be using strings. And we declared a variable called color, right? So now inside the method body, uh, we want this method, every time we invoke this method, we want it to print out something on a screen. It's going to print out your favorite color is, then plus what the value of uh, color is, whatever is in color. So then it's going to print that next to it. So now let's start with our other class, the blue class here. Let's click on our blue class and let's finish this up. So now we're going to invoke this method we created here in this class. It's really easy to do, so let's hit enter a few times. Before we even do anything, we need to uh, import something from the Javex, and it's gonna be it's gonna be the scanner. We because we're gonna take input from a user, so we need to import that first. So on top of this here, we're gonna hit enter a few times. So we're gonna type in on top of this import space Java dot u t i l dot capital S lowercase c a n n 
E R and it with a semicolon. So we're importing a something from the Java utility called scanner. And scanner is just going to read the, the user data and store it in a variable. That's all it does. But before we can use it, we have to import it first. So that's how you do that. So the first thing we need to do is create a new scanner input. So we're going to type in capital S C A N N E R hit space. We're going to type in input hit space, right? And we're going to say new capital S C -A -N -N -E -R. A N N E R new scanner, and then we're gonna hit space, open and close parentheses. Inside this open and close parentheses, we're gonna type in, right, capital S lowercase y s t e m. So that's system dot in, because this is gonna be an input, right? We're, we're inputting something from the user and we're saving it. So now we're gonna end this with a semicolon. So now we're gonna hit enter here a few times. So now down here we're gonna create a new object. This object is gonna be used to uh, import or uh, call the method. So we're going to type in red, right? Hit space, and we're going to type in uh, red, capital O, B, J, E, C, T. We called our object red object, right? So we're going to hit space again. And we're going to type in new, hit space, then type in red. O then open and close parentheses, then end it with a semicolon. So, so we just created a new object. We called red object, and we're going to use this object to uh, import uh, the method from our red class here, right? So now let's hit enter again. So now we're gonna now we're gonna type in something for the user. We're gonna type in a message for the user. So we're gonna type in capital S Y S T E M dot out dot print L N open and close parentheses and there with a semicolon. Inside this open and close parentheses we're gonna type we're gonna use this set of double quotes here. Inside the set of double quotes we're gonna type in enter your favorite I'm sorry if you into your favorite color right hit, hit space right so it's, it's gonna prompt the user to enter your favorite color so now we're gonna hit enter a few times we're gonna start another line of code here now we're, we're, we're gonna create a new variable we're gonna call this one string color it's not a new variable. We declared this variable color inside this method here. It said that remember it said the method arguments here. So it'll know what, what to look for. And I'm going to say input dot next capital L I N E open and close parentheses and there with a semicolon. So the contents, I'm sorry, we have to add an equal symbol here after color. So we're going to hit space equal symbol space. Okay, this line of code here is just basically prompting the user to enter uh, something, right? So we're, we're, we're like invoking the scanner class and now it's now it's asking the user to enter something. It's prompting the user to enter something and whatever they enter is going to be stored in this variable called uh, color. It's a string variable and, and this is going to store the contents of whatever the user types. So again, we created this new uh, scanner up here, right? Scanner input, and uh, down here, after it prints out "enter your favorite color," it's going to uh, ask, or it's gonna, it's gonna wait for you to, or the user to enter something. Then once the user enters something, it's going to save it in this variable color. So that's why uh, later on, when we invoke uh, this uh, method here, uh, when we invoke it, it's gonna first ask. Uh, it's going to first print this out on the screen, enter your favorite color, right? So then when we get down here, uh, we're gonna, uh, the user is going to enter a color, right? And that color is going to be stored in this variable color here. So then it's going to print out, when we invoke it, it's going to print out your favorite color is, and then it's going to print next to it this variable color. And it's, this variable color, again, is going to store the value of the input. So it's going to print whatever the user uh, entered right next to it. So let's let's now invoke our method down here. So now we're gonna uh, invoke our method. To do that, we have to first uh, type in our object name. Our object name is blue, capital O, B, J, E, C, T. This is our object name. Now we're gonna type in dot. Now we're gonna type in the name of our method. Our method name, again, was F, A, V, capital C, O, L, O, R, favorite color. Now we're gonna type in this open and close parentheses. And inside this open and close parentheses, we're going to type in our variable name and its color. Because remember, we, we declared uh, the variable string inside the method and we called the color. 
So now we have to end this with a semicolon. So let's test that out. Let's hit play over here. Hit proceed. All right, we got an error message. I know why we got this error message. Under here, under under uh, scanner input, we, after input, this should be an equal symbol. So let's put an equal symbol here. That should fix it. Now let's hit play. Let's hit proceed. Now we got another error message. The reason we got this error message over here is because it's not a public class. This is a new class we created. So we got to delete public here and just say class. So let's hit uh, play again. We got an error message here. I know why we got the error message. This is the wrong object. We called our object red object. So we should type in red here. So now let's hit play again. Now it worked. We didn't get any error messages. See down here, now it's uh, it, it printed out enter your favorite color. So let's go down here, let's enter our favorite color. I'm gonna say green, right? Then I'm gonna type in enter and it printed back to us your favorite color is green. Pretty simple. Let me walk you guys through that one more time. We have two classes here. This is this class, this is our main method here, right? You have to have a main method. It's like the first method, right? But uh, we we created another class and we created another method we called favorite color or fave color. And inside this class, we, which we called red, we created a new method, and, and we in our method we called fave color, and we gave it some uh, new parameters. We told it we we were expecting a string uh, out of this uh, method, right? So we declared this string inside the parameters here, and this is called an argument. Anything inside the parameters is called an argument. So we declared a uh, so we declared a variable which we called color and the color is going to hold our value. So inside this method, it's going to print out your favorite color is plus the value of color. So we're going to give color a value inside this other class, but, but this method is going to print out your favorite color plus whatever value of color. So now we're going to go into the blue class here, right? This is, this again, this is our main method here. Here, uh, we, we started off by first importing the Java util.scanner because we're going to be expecting input from the user. So we need to import that first. So in here, our, this is our class blue, right? This is our main method. Inside the main method, uh, we just basically declared a um, input, right? So this first line of code here is just basically uh, t telling the, the program that we're going to be using the scanner and we're going to be using input. So down here, we declared a object, which is going to store the value of the input, right? So down here, right, we're printing out your favorite color. Down here, this is going to print out to the user, enter your favorite color. So that's the first thing that's going to happen when the program starts. It's going to print out, enter your favorite color. Down here, we declared a, a variable called color. And right, we de actually declared this variable inside this method here that we called fave color, right? But we're going to be using that that variable color, and we're going to be storing the value of the, our input. So this is how we store a value of input again: input that next line open and close parentheses, right? So whenever the user types in something, it's going to be stored inside color. So now down here, we're finally we're uh, invoking our method, right? We're calling our method. To do that, we typed in our uh, object name, which was red object dot our method name, which was fave color, then open and close parentheses. Then we typed inside the open and close parentheses the color, right? Because we want to pass the value of uh, the color to our method, right? So then we pass the value of color to our method, then it prints, once we invoke it, it prints your favorite color is, then it pa pa then has the value of the user's input. So, so that's pretty much it. All right, if you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and thanks for watching.